Now we are 17, 17 people watching. Okay, that's nice. So let's talk about those three main things that we don't have to forget when we are studying a career as car designers. Okay, so first of all, are you ready with your portfolios? How far are you with your portfolios? Are you looking for your, your internship at school? I know that some schools say that you have, you must have an internship, okay? So you're getting ready for an interview. And it's very important when you go to your interview that there are three things that you, three mistakes that you don't make. First of all, let's talk about presentation. When you present, when you present your portfolio, the first, the first thing you should do is present yourself. Don't forget that we are there, okay? And we don't know you. So we are there on our table. We are uh, very curious. We really want to see the best portfolio ever we ever seen before. And we really are there to make sure that when you open up your work and you present yourself, we have a very good impression, impression of you, okay? Arianna, uh, yeah, but Arianna is, uh, okay. I, I got it. Ciao, ciao. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, ci sono. Finalmente, I could make it work. <laughs> so, the thing is, how do you do to make, a, to make a good impression at first sight when you will be ready with your work? When you have your first eye contact with the people, you know, the way you address to the people and the people, it's like me here sitting on a table waiting for you to get in from that door, okay? Or for, for, for a meeting in, in, a, in a room, in a meeting room in, in the company, or sometimes those things are done in school. Matteo, ciao! Hey, yeah, thank you, thank you, Matteo. Matteo De Piccoli is also another guy from Italy this time that is part of this... Uh, School of Polytechnic Design, making his uh, preparing for the master, and he was in my workshop today. Okay, all right. So uh, let's go back to our topic. So what what is important? We know we know that uh, we have seen many portfolios, so it's difficult that with your portfolio, I'm going to cry of joy and say, I finally got it. You know, basically, we always, always have that hope that uh, that's the portfolio we were, we were waiting for. So what are you going to do? So the first thing is the way you present yourself. And as Matteo can tell you, and Harry also, Harry Hutton can tell you, can confirm to you, is that when there is an approach, you student are getting in front of somebody that has a very strong ego. And we know car designers have egos, everybody has egos. I have egos. I have my ego. Sometimes when I am in front of students, of course, I, it's not that strong. Or when I am in front of a super boss, it's not that strong. But when I am in front of some colleagues, you know, that are my level, maybe it's stronger. So, when you arrive with your portfolio, it's very important if you're smiling, the way you look at our eyes. Are you shy? Don't be too shy, because if you are shy, that's not good. Are you, do you feel motivated? Show that motivation, but don't sell that motivation. You understand the difference? Because there are a lot of people you know, I have to say the truth, you know, some people from India are like that. More, some people from India, some people from Italy too, from Spain. We, we love, you know, to talk and sell and we use words and we, and sometimes we do just too much. Don't forget that when you get into a car design studio or a car company, strong chances, people are not Indians, are not Italians, are not Spanish, are not French, they don't know you. But probably they are British, Americans, you know, Anglo-Saxon, or North Europe, because those are the directors, you know, those are the, the managers. 
or people like me that went to live uh, in foreign countries for such such uh, so long time for so long time that we are not very much 100% like our origins you know in the way we behave with other people so we're a little bit colder so be careful how you talk to people because you are not in your own country so cultural changes cultural differences so if you do too much on the other hand you might find somebody that says ah this guy is trying to sell me to sell me smoke to sell me something that he doesn't really have so the first approach just before you open up your portfolio it's very important so be casual be normal be relaxed smile but don't over smile you know look at our eyes look in the eyes shake well that hand all right don't give a dead hand like that <laughs> sometimes this happened to me when this happens i say oh my god because there is all sort of uh, significance you know meanings around the body language the tone of your the tone of your voice the way you look in the eyes or you look down the way you smile if it's fake or if it's natural all those things count believe me and we and we study those things you know why because that's how it is our world we we check those things too yeah storm is laughing yeah i understand you laughing but that's important and there are some good people because they were too shy they lost a very good opportunity hey isaac ciao zombie hand yeah the dead hand you know we called it the hand, the hand la mano mo morta la mano muerta <laughs> in spanish or in argentinos okay so there are things that you have to try to understand and accept that they are important and when i was teaching in school many years ago i had i had a portfolio class called like this portfolio class which was a course for the last year students during which i was teaching all those type of lessons you know of uh, of suggestions and tips to make sure that people understood that other than the sketches and the good work there was also this part that students should care about let me read uh sounds amazing like an argentinian spanish maybe because the italian accent yeah jonathan no no Porque tengo amigos argentinos uh, de, de después de la escuela en California. Gabriel Prats, mi mejor amigo, que vive en, en California. And sometimes I talk to him and he talks a little bit Italian and I talk a little bit of the Spanish I remember. So you know, that's why. <laughs> okay, so. So take care about this stuff. So when you have a, this type of approach that we consider type of natural, but at the same time professional, we feel comforted, we feel fine, we feel very nice. And then there is a moment, so that's the first thing, the presentation. But the presentation has two important elements. The first one is this uh, figurative one, you know, the, okay, the form, you know, you. The body language as we said and then the, the second part is the oral the way you talk do you yell do you scream are you too excited hey man how are you doing good morning you do that it's not good of course not first of all because you don't know the people so if you don't know them you cannot get all that confidence you know like we are best friends because we are not best friends let me read the Dwij Pandia. Hello, sir. How to improve interpretation skills, storytelling. Is there include any reference for that inspire me when it comes to sketching portfolio? Uh, yeah, but uh, about that, uh, I made a video that is called the mood board. Okay, mood board. You find this video on YouTube on my channel. I advise you to go and check it out. Okay all right so 
Uh, but we will talk about this after when we get to the question and answers. Okay, we will do it. So then the oral part is very important because the oral part as your tone, your tone of voice, the value. If you yelling, if you screaming, if you if your voice is too sad, like too low that we cannot hear, you know. So that's important try to master the way you talk to people and you want to talk to people in a convincing way of course because all this what I, that i'm talking i'm talking to you is to be convincing in a very positive way okay so be relaxed don't be stressed don't be nervous on the other side you have people are human beings we know that you are a young person we know that you are someone that probably for the first time is in front of two managers or directors or whatever so we we know that already because at the beginning of every type of meetings we all very nice ciao andrew buonasera andrea ciao andrea abbiamo degli amici argentini qui eh quindi si quiere hablar argentino, tú puedes, porque ellos va a comprender todo. Ok, so, now, you, you, we will be there and we will not be your enemies, ok? We are very curious to see who you are, if you're an educated person, and what you have to say about your work. And usually it's like that, I, I will ask you, Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Ula Chomovove. I am, uh, I present myself. I am a design manager for this and that. Uh, please, could you present yourself? So in that moment, you, it's your turn, right? So in that moment, I can hear your voice. I can see how you move, all that stuff. So that stuff you should try to, to, ma to master a little bit, okay? But at the same time, you have to be relaxed. And you have your portfolio ready. So when you present yourself, the first thing you say, it's your first name and last name. Please don't tell me your last name first. Don't. We are not at the service of military service where we call people for by the, la the last name first. We are in a normal situation, okay? No panic. We are not in war, okay? So your first name and your last name you can say i am italian or i am spanish i'm argentinian i am indian i'm from uh, mary america uh, dallas uh, new york okay and i come from for example scuola politecnica di design i'm following my master i just got my master i am ready to get my master and i'm searching for the internship i'm i really interested in your company and therefore i did the best i could to find a way to get an interview with you i'm very glad i had this opportunity today to present myself to you so i brought my portfolio uh, and if you want i know that you have a probably an opening for an internship i'll be very happy if you want to show you my work and see if there is any chance for me you see, you say something like that, it's perfect. We are very happy about that. Method. Hi, sorry, I'm late. Couldn't get the stream to work. All is well. Yes, yes, method. Now everything is working. Yeah, uh, wait a moment. Uh, yeah, but I don't know how to do it. Okay. Yeah, because there was, a, there was a German girl that was following me a long time ago, and now she's not anymore in the stream. So I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry she's not there. Okay, but anyway, I'll catch up with her. Yeah, the, yeah. You see, it's improved because I I went and I found a way uh, that is fifty hertz and not sixty, because Europe is fifty. So I have a program from Logitech. They gave me the opportunity to change that, and that's how I did. It. You see, so there's no more flickering. I also added new light. All right, so let's go back to our topic. So when you 
when you are there and you present yourself like that, what do you think we're going to do? We're going to be very happy. We're going to say, yeah, of course, it's our pleasure. So please sit down. Would you like any coffee? Uh, do you want water? You know, in general, sometimes we do that. Okay. And I say, please, uh, show us your portfolio. Tell a little bit about yourself. How did you get involved with car design? What really motivated you? And here, it's the second point that is very important. What you say, okay? And how you say, okay? That's important. And let, let me read the portfolio has spiegato a loro. Oh, solo lo guardano tra loro, quante persone ci sono Ma in general, we are two people, one people, three people, not too many. And uh, in general, it's like this. I'm here with the portfolio. I open up, you know, of course, in the right uh, situation, or right, the right perspective. And then I open up and, and I get taught. Or I have a computer and I click and I talk about in front of my computer, clicking the buttons, okay? If you have a slideshow. And then uh, you start saying what you should say being careful what you say and how you say it, okay first of all let me tell you right, right away don't ever say to anybody in any design studio in those interviews don't ever say yeah i made the restyling of this car or i wanted to make this car because the first one i found it a little bit dull or a little bit uh, uh i don't know old-fashioned therefore i really wanted to redesign because you don't know if the person in front of you did the design you are criticizing. But if you say something like that, hey Vivek, ciao. If you say something like that, you got an enemy in front of you, right away. And there are people who do that. There are people that make these mistakes. Believe me, I've seen it. So don't say those things. Remember, when you are in a meeting like this, we are always all potential designers of what you redesign, okay? So, if you have some critiques, keep it for yourself. We don't care. We don't want to know. Just talk about the good points of your project why you did it this way and why you changed that detail why you know and most of all your skills and everything else okay in that way you will not have anything that will not be correct politically in that type of environment okay that's something that you have to know then another thing is how you say it you know very often I say, people, you have to be humble. Because to be humble is extremely important in an environment where the egos are very, very strong and very, very high. You know, you can imagine. So, when you talk about your project, when you are there and explaining the project, the sketch, you know, the mark and stuff, Talk, tell your story being humble. Because that will give us a, a feeling that we, we have in front of us somebody that is not arrogant. At least not arrogant as some of our colleagues or other people that passed by us to share their, to share their portfolio hoping to get that internship or to, hoping to get that job. So, now you understand that there are several things you have to, to, to keep in mind when you are ready to go for an interview. So, what to say and how you say it. And then there is another thing, you have to be credible. Credibility is extremely important. As I said at the beginning, don't tell us things that are not true, that we know, because we have the experience. You are young. There are a lot of things you don't know. 
So don't pretend you know more than us. You know, for example, just an example to make for you. There are a lot of people that believe that if you do a car, a small car or a big car, with a front bumper, a rear bumper, with that is the same, so one tooling, you are making a great economy on the project cost. Because you think, I have only one tooling to make all the bumpers. And not two, two toolings because there are two different bumpers, one in the front and one in the back. But that's wrong. Because one thing you don't know, and that's what I explained today during our presentation, but this is a classical example because it, it happens very often. And you know what? I made the same mistake when I was a student. Because I, in my presentation in school, I said uh, all the four corner the, the bumper stuff are from one tooling. So that's smart design. And the teacher said, no, it's not smart design because you probably don't know, but this cannot be. And he explained to me. When I went to work at Fiat, in which company I worked for 11 years, I wanted to do the same thing on a concept car for the future Panda. And when I did my sketches, my boss said, uh, Lucia, please, that's student stuff. Uh, don't worry. We will have a specific tooling for each bumper. But don't say this in the presentation, in the final presentation. And then I said, then it's really true. <laughs> you know? So now that 30 years went by, no, 20 years went by, my video is not synchronized. What are you saying, nation? Until today, everybody are saying that everything looks fine. Please tell me if the video and the voice is synchronized. Because the connection here is saying it's excellent. Anyway, I keep on working. I keep on talking, okay? All right? So, uh, anyway, the, the, I cannot do anything with the internet, guys. The best I can is this, okay? All right. So, now, what, uh, what we have... Uh, what we have to do is to be credible, I said. So, if you want to say something that for you is something really smart that your project has, okay. But first, you go on Google, go somewhere, I don't know where, but get information. Call an engineer, you have a friend that is an engineer, uh, that's okay. Call your, your friend. Yeah, there is some lag in the audio, but don't worry. No, it's not synchronized, but it's okay. We can see. Okay, it's like, okay, I'm very sorry, guys. I love your content from 14 years old. Okay, Nation, all right, you are 14 years old. Okay, great. So this is very important for you because you are very young. Uh, it's not, but there is a very marginal delay. I can live with it. Okay, all right. Then I think it's, uh, I, I understood what it is, but I... I don't touch because I'm scared to ruin everything, okay? Okay. All right, so to be credible means you get information. So I want you, you, you discover that, uh, I don't know, 3D printing is the best option for your project in terms of cost. I doubt, but anyway, you are sure about it. That means that you went on Google and you found all the information that you called, talk to somebody, and this somebody that is an expert, or close to an expert, tells you that what you, are, will, what you will say about your project, it's correct. Or will explain to you what is good and what is bad. Then when you make the presentation with your portfolio for the internship or for a real job, presenting your new thing on your project, then you will know in a credible way how to explain something. And if I tell you, for example, are you sure that this is correct? Because we're having some problem with this technology in general. 
we know that uh, it's not really possible. You will know what to answer to me, citing the source. And in that way, I will think that you are somebody serious. Because you really went to study the argument. And you really gave me the right answer. So I know that you are somebody picky on your work. And this is good. Now, you are giving me with precision uh, information. And, and, and you are still very humble the way you do. So I can only be very happy. Right? All right? Okay. So those are the three main things that you have to keep in mind. As we said, the way you present yourself before you talk. Before you open up your mouth, what you say and how you say it. So your speaking, your storytelling, your words, you, those things that you prepared before, right? And the way you say it. And then the credibility. And the credibility comes from saying few things, not too many, few things, going straight to the point. And if you have some information that are technological, something that uh, it's possible to do in a very particular way and really excites you to tell us because this influenced your design, then you have to study the argument to make sure that you know what you're talking about. All right? So that I cannot tell you Hey, look, I don't believe you. Because if, if the relation between you and me, it gets into the doubts, and I start doubting that uh, maybe this guy, yeah, nice sketch, but then I can, I can lose, you know, I can lose that trustful, how can I say, trustful relationship that we installed at the beginning of our meeting, and that puts everything, goes down very quick, very fast. You know, it is a little bit the same thing of every portfolio. You have a portfolio with a lot of beautiful pictures. We are all very happy about it. And then it's enough that there is one sketch that is badly done. Then immediately we will only remember you because of that sketch, that bad sketch. That's how it is. And that's life. We cannot do anything against. That's how it is. It's life. So that's why I say the credibility part, which is the last one on my short list, it's really important. All right? Okay. So then, of course, there is a moment during this meeting where we will ask questions on your sketches. And that's the second tricky moment of your meeting because sometimes we make questions that are a little bit tricky to see where how you react we try to study that reaction i mean because the reaction is like we're studying psychologically you know how is this guy's guy really educated is does really know what he's talking about i mean is smart enough is this guy careful? Uh, if I make him a little bit mad, is arrogance or her arrogance is coming out, or there is no arrogance? It, it keeps it, it keeps to be humble. You know those things are small tests that we make because don't forget if you get hired, if you get the internship. You will be part of a team, a small family that is there for a long time. So before I put somebody that I don't know into my family, I want to make sure that I don't make big mistakes. You understand? That's the real um, objectives in making those tricky questions so that we can kind of understand whether everything you said is really real 
true or maybe we should not trust too much okay hey vivek how did the tesla change the perspective of the big gigantic company regarding electric cars other than making dependable cars uh, what a question vivek let's say that the one thing that uh, tesla did they said we don't care that to make a, an electric a full electric car uh for rich people huge big car we don't we don't care it's expensive we just do it and and that's and that's how they did it basically their concept is like that also because there is a, a, a particular type of business model behind it that still today is not uh, reliable eh? but they that's how they they that's how they do that's the, the, their belief but a, ma a mass production car like uh, a a Renault Group for example or other companies they cannot uh, they cannot reason in the same way that's something that uh, there is a difference between uh, you know, between uh, a Tesla company and mass production companies. There is a difference. And there is also history that is very, very different. Uh, history of a car with uh, diesels, uh, gasoline, uh, energy, uh, hybrid, uh, uh, small electric vehicles. You don't change it from one day to another. Okay? All right. So let's go back to our, to our topic about... Uh, this uh, career move three uh, main things to remember not to make to remember so that you don't make mistakes so anybody any comments any questions about this please tell me now it's the, the time you can ask me questions by the way if you want to offer me a coffee you have the super chat and the super stickers available okay thank you very much anybody any questions I am here, available available for you. You know, every time we take somebody that has to be to get into the into the family as a designer or even as a student, we 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 are careful because sometimes we had bad experiences. And sometimes one time it happened to me. I thought that I chose the right one with my boss, and it did not go exactly the way we thought. That is kind of a niche brand. Yeah, Russ. Yeah, uh, Razvan is right. Tesla, it's still a niche. Look at Neo. Neo also uh, in China. Neo did in in uh, in, uh, in three four years what Tesla did in thirteen years. Ask yourself that. That's a very good question. Give yourself an answer. You know. It depends how the companies are structured and for which market they are really addressing their products, you know? Okay, so, hey guys, and girls, if we have girls, any questions? If you don't have questions, that's fine. Yeah? We, can, we can close and start our weekends. Anyway. If you do, it, would you like to see something I did uh, sketching? I have something to show you. You ready? Just wait one second. I'll be back. I'm gonna show you something. Okay. First of all, here we have uh, some work. <laughs> a little pile okay but I wanted to show you I wanted to show you a work that I'm doing that I did not finish yet hey Hitchan ciao Jan Shulochki ciao okay yeah this one uh, nation okay here in india after completing our grade 10 we are choose a group there are uh, two groups available science and commerce i don't think any of them are related to design what should be science science because that's what i did in italy the only thing uh nation that you have to do 
when you will be 18 years old, you don't have to go to engineering university. You have to go to design university or design college. Okay? That's what you have to do. Uh, some, yes, I, I, I have the sketches, but I'm just reading. Uh, sir, design a passenger car totally opposite of designing your effort. Yeah, Vivek, what a question. I have Formula One car. It's not done by designers. It's done only by engineers. V Vikas, sir, while having an interview, should we have a, a hard copy or a digital portfolio will be presented on the project? I think, yes, Vikas. I think that uh, if you go with your computer or your iPad, it's very professional. We, it's nice. But if you can give a... Uh, a USB key, okay, with a PDF inside, nice key, uh, in which they they have also your CV. That would be a lot appreciated. Why? Because I tell you what happens. The USB key, it's a present in a way, because you give it to me, I put your stuff on my computer, I check it, and then I I clean up the key. And it, it's for my use. So it's a little present, you know, has a double, double use, smart. Sir, designing a car is a, uh, it's a group process, right? Yeah, it's a team work. Okay, I show you the sketch I'm working on, all right? I won't have video for this one because I'm at the last part. Tell me if you like it, okay? Let me know, let me know. I'm ready for your, I'm ready for your comments. Any interview, okay. Uh, sir, please tell us about proportions. Uh, Procreate rendering boy. Proportions gonna be about Tuesday. Tuesday we'll do it. Uh, off topic, c'è più libertà per design del lavoro per i mercati emergenti come la Cina e India? Per esempio, alcuni prodotti rinnovano per quelli altri. Uh, uh, Mr. Pranding, per la verità, no. No, we always have. Markets have their rules and we follow those rules. And the degree of freedom. It's more or less the same. Oh, Storm, thank you. I can't believe it. Thanks. Thank you. Well, Storm, if you do that, I show you again. Huh? <laughs> I can show you some uh, song. I have monkey. Ciao. Mauro Dia. Ciao, Luciano. You had me two years ago and I'm a student at the Art Center. Wow, Ma uh, Mauro. I'm very glad, very glad, very glad, very happy. Okay, because today it's a beautiful day. I'm going to show you another one, but you have to send me another sticker, okay? And not Storm, because Tom already did it. But I'm going to show you a nice one. You will see. You will look at it and you will say, wow, you did that? You ready? One, two, and three. This is how we do transparency with chalk. You see, this is the theory rule. Okay, I hope you like it, all right? Okay, so, and now I will show you also another one. Tell me, hey, tell me if, uh, what do you think? I want to know. And then I did another thing today. Uh, there is one thing I have to tell you that you don't know. There is another YouTube channel in which I started to put only the extra sketching. Everything that is not car design. And it's called Luciano Bob, okay? Luciano Bob on YouTube here. And now there are only two videos where I do drawings, figure drawings, paintings, illustrations, 
both design, product design. I will put there all this stuff, okay? So I really hope that some of you, I mean all of you, but at least some of you will run over there and subscribe and watch my videos, okay? And that's what I did today. And we have the video, we have the video on that new channel, which is called Car Design Extra, okay? So, what do you think about this one? I think that this one is not bad. This one, wow, thank you, Storm. You are really, <laughs> you are spoiling me today. This one, it's uh, done only with markers, only markers. Only markers. And this is, of course, a very nice sunset. All right? Let me know, what do you think about this one? And I keep going. Because, uh, thank you, thank you. Because sometimes we talk about reflections. And a lot of people say, yeah, but reflections, uh, the chrome, how do you do? Are you ready? This is for another super sticker, <laughs> for another super chat. Look, what do you think? This was done as a demo. A nice little spoon. I think this one's not bad either. This is marker and a little bit of chalk. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let, let, me, let me find something because I have so many, I have so many. You already saw this one, right? You already saw this one uh, during our Tuesday. Hey, Vedan, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. This one was the Chrome lessons, the reflections that we made two or three weeks ago, I think, three weeks ago. Thank you, Vedan. I really appreciate it. And this one is also very nice because with this one you learn really the reflections, everything. <clears throat> and then let me let me see. Probably this one. This is one like almost like a military. Vikash, thanks! Thanks! Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. It's beautiful today. Everybody are sending super stickers. That's nice. I hope that this can inspire you. You know, I, I mean, I really hope that my work can help you. You already saw this one? This one was one of the first time I tried to make a sort of uh, power boat, you know, power boat on the sea, on the, on the waves. And then this is the last one that uh, the video is on. You can go and check the video if you want, huh? because now we have the video. And it's called uh, Marker Sketch. And this is almost like, uh, it is almost a rain ring because I really went into detailing, you know, this one. If you look at close, you know, you can see all the detailing I put in there. So it took some time. Look at the, the nice reflection, you know, the reflection in this area of the car on the ground. That's kind of nice. 
and uh wait wait a moment that i find some inspiration inspiration thank you storm thanks thanks you know when we talk about creativity when we talk about something that has to to when you have to think out of the box you know out of the box it's something like this something really funky what well, do it try it you have to try it you know we need creativity and this is the one that everybody appreciated on instagram it got almost 500 likes this one 500 it's incredible it's a little cute car but to me it's not that uh, innovative but a lot of people really love this one i guess probably because it is uh, simple you know it's simple straight straight to the bottom you know down straight down to the main thing you know so let me see what else i have okay probably already saw this one this is uh this is a funky one the mushroom thank you herman jaiswal thank you very much don't worry don't worry let me see what we have here yeah this one it's uh another this is another three-quarter front i made uh i made uh for one of my students on my online course explaining the three-quarter front okay a little bit of chalk some markers okay like this one very cute small car a little bit 50s you know but uh nice demo and nice details on the wheels look at the wheels on the wheels you can see there are some really nice little details there i think you already saw this one yeah, I think you already saw this one. But let me go and find something that is really old. Huh? For example, like this one. Only chalk and a little bit of pencil and a little bit of marker this one is not bad thank you Vinay. thank you jonathan grazie uh jonathan there is a video i made in which i explain how not how to be creative but how to do in a way that you can be more creative Okay, I will show you a couple more. Like this one. Very simple, you see? And when we talk about reflections, you know, I always say that the cylinder, cylinder glass, cylinder, there you have a cylinder. 
You see? And this is to, to help you to make the reflections on the glass. We can also imagine to have products like a pencil sharpener, you know? And then I have this top view, which is really nice. And then let me see what else I have. And then I have this I made for my kids. <laughs> this is a long time ago. It was in 2009. So really long time ago. 12 years ago. Okay. Ah, I can show you one sketch from the Tweezy. Old sketch. Technical. Technical sketch done with, uh, you know. Okay, I think I showed you everything today, for today. I made this, but I, I made this, but I don't like it, to be honest. There is a video of this one. But it's not that nice. Then there is this one also that is not that bad. But I think I did better than this. I've done better. For example, this one, it's a nice one, you see? I should put color on this one. I put it on the side. Ah, this one, it's nice. I want to show you. This one, it's nice. Uh, a lot of nice sketch that makes me very happy to know I was there live on almost all of them and I think the only thing missing very shiny Luciano about motorcycle who do you think? <laughs> yeah, you're right <laughs> thank you Michelangelo I should I should learn how to draw motorcycles because I I don't know and I never to be honest I never really tried so it's difficult for me. This one is very nice. Very simple. Look. Okay. Well, I think that uh, we saw together a lot of stuff. Okay. Thank you very much. And if you have other questions about the topic of today, I'll be very happy. I want to let you know that, uh, that if you want to be part of, uh, uh, there is also this Canson paper. Yeah, this one. Probably you already saw this one. And I will, I will make some Canson paper sketch, don't worry like some products like this one you know products how many time did you spend in card design i mean uh, uh you mean uh sketching well i sketch a lot that's true you know we were talking about the cylinder now you have the sphere you see But today I made, uh, today between the course, the workshop, 
and, and other stuff like that i made uh i made quite a lot of sketches four look at this one nice in terms of hours i sketch at least uh one two hours a day